I want to talk with you today about um, inspiration. Where does it come from? What does it look like for you or your kids? So um, inspiration comes in a variety of ways. Every single one of us gets inspiration in a different method. And it is really important that we learn to recognize that. So I have done this just last term with the um, high school group that I have. And each of my students unpacked about how they receive their creativity and their inspiration. So I thought I would share with you um, just three um, takeaways that I got from that that I think will be really beneficial to you at home. So the first one is that some of our children get their creativity through, um, through talking with people, through conversations, through um, those crazy um, in discussion, you know, being around people kind of way. And so right now, our methods of communication have changed severely and we are not um, engaging with our friends and our um, communities in the same way that we used to. So if you have a child that isn't, you know, I want to say an extrovert, but not necessarily, that does find their creativity through, you know, discussions and talking, um, that you find ways to enable that conversation to continue, whether it's with their friends, or with other people, with your animals, um, really crucial, especially at these times. Um, secondly, is that some of us will find our inspiration through being alone and being quiet, getting time away and just processing and thinking in um, quiet, reflective space. And I also want to bring this up because our homes are um, probably more energetic and more full of life than normal or perhaps longer periods than usual. So if you or your kids are one of these ones that go off into, you know, like la la land for, you know, periods of time, they are processing and they are building their creative ideas and it's really important that we continue to um, give these kids that method of inspiration, like that they can still get that channel of inspiration to come in. Um, thirdly is that a lot of our kids, us, find inspiration on the internet, whether it's um, Instagram, YouTube, um, watching videos, watching others create, seeing how they do it. And energy, like creative energy is this like big bubble of... Um, I want to say a big bubble of bubbles. It's just like energetic. And if you or your kid has been sitting watching YouTube for the past, I don't know, five minutes, 20 minutes, hour, and they're not actually getting that energy out, it is really important that you put paper in front of them, go find the construction methods, um, you know, pull out that musical instrument, whatever it might be that your child, however your child communicates their creativity, that you go find that element and put it in front of them. The creativity in us is not meant to stay dormant. It's meant to be like um, overflowed and released. So I just really want to encourage you to um, find out the way that you and your kids are um, finding their inspiration, finding that those ideas and finding the best way to continue to express that in a world that is very different to what we had um, I'd look two weeks ago, a month ago, and we find ways to continue to build and to develop those skills.